Well, howdy, everybody. Welcome to another edition of That's Railroading. <laughs> Where we bring the railroad to you. And <laughs> we love doing it, too. Okay. We got a, uh, today's a warm day. It's Friday, January 19th, 2024. And uh, it's uh, 28 degrees. Warm, warm uh, heat wave here. <laughs> tomorrow, tonight, and tomorrow and Sunday. Uh, it's going to go down to, uh, uh, let's see, 13, 14, and 10. So, uh, and tomorrow we're going to have a high. Tomorrow, Saturday, we're going to have a high of 18. High of 18. So, we've got, uh, let me show you what we got out here. We had uh, ultrasonic rail testers come in, and uh, I rode track with them. As a, I escorted them up track. They were in their truck. I'm in my little high rail truck. But uh, I just got back. And I got to clean these switches out. Yeah, we got some snow last night. Not a whole lot, but uh, they were calling for up to, we, it's going to snow until sometime tomorrow. The snow advisory is till 10 a.m. tomorrow. So I don't know how much more snow we're going to get. But uh, I've got to get these uh, switches cleaned out. And uh, there's not a whole lot of snow in them. But the big problem is here... Let's go out here and take a look. Yeah. The big problem here is if you don't get this snow out of here, then with this cold weather coming up, the stuff's going to freeze. All right. In there, that snow's going to freeze in there. And then if you have to throw your switch, your switch point's not going to be able to throw over here far enough and meet your uh, stock rail. So, that's a possible good good way to have a derailment, and we don't want to have that happen. But the wind's kind of blowing out here. It's going to be a little bit cold, so that's what we got to do. Uh, we've had snow in the past where you actually had to shovel all of this out in here because it was so heavy. But uh, fortunately, I don't have a lot here today, so that'll be easy, and I'll blow this side over here and, and open them switch point. Uh, uh, my mind's a blank. The plates. Slide plates there. I'll get them uh, cleared off too. And uh, I wish I had a nice spray. Whoa, I gotta put my coat on before I do this. Anyway, um, yeah, I wish I had a spray, a de-icer spray, but I don't have any. That would be nice once I get it cleaned out is to spray that. And uh, I said, don't have any. Dang it. That would have been nice. Anyway, all right. We'll, uh, I'll be right back. Okay. I gotta get a coat on. <laughs> I said it's cold. Okay, I got my leaf blower blur, uh, started up here. I had it. I've been in the truck all day with me. Nice and warm. Okay. Let me get my uh, gloves on here. Right back. Probably a little bit noisy.
Okay. Hope you got your earplugs in. Yeah. Okay. Now uh, we'll get this side over here. I'll come back and do this side again. And I may have to get my uh, little bit of ice warming in there already, if you can see that. Oh, I may have to get my uh, broom. On the end of my broom has got a sharp point. Uh, it's like a chisel to break that ice up off of, off of these plates here, and uh, if you need be. Okay. Run that throw rod. Okay. Ha. Yeah, I'm gonna have to break that up with the get my uh, set break that ice up in down in there. I don't want that to happen. I don't want to keep that in there. Okay, I got uh, two more switches here to do, and I've got uh, two switches down below to do. All right. This is my uh, my leaf blower. Actually, uh, I have one here that belongs to the to the uh, mine, a leaf blower, but it's in my big high rail truck, and my big high rail truck is not here. It's in the shop getting a uh, power steering, uh, get, getting something that had a leak in there, is getting it worked on and stuff. Anyway. <laughs> Oh well, I'll get back in the truck and that'll fall out. So anyway, I knew I was going to need this today, and uh, I don't mind using this once in a while here. But, uh, it needs to be run anyway. These uh, these uh, little these engines here, these new ones, they they gum up a lot. You got to keep them running. This is good for it actually to keep, to run it. Saturday, January 20th. 14 degrees out here. <laughs> nice. Really nice. Uh, it's about 7 o'clock in the morning. Uh, the train just came in and dumped off and he's heading back up to the mine. And uh, <laughs> Cold weather railroad. Yeah. I don't. Uh, they didn't have any problems last night. That's wonderful. And uh, the prep plant's running pretty good and that's wonderful. But usually in cold weather, really cold weather, the prep plant freezes up some places. So we're going to uh, get the train out of here, and uh, I'm going to snow it again last night, and we're going to do some more switch cleaning. Okay, yeah, so here we go. We'll watch him get out. I'll go watch him get out of here, and then uh, it'll be daylight here before long. This is pretty cool. We got so we got a little bit more snow last night and this time next week and it's going to be 53 degrees how about that I'm looking forward to that let me tell you Track looked good yesterday when I ran it. Had some bolts out. Always have bolts out. So alrighty. Very good. This railroad. <laughs> Stay tuned. Don't you go anywhere. <laughs> 
Okay. Here's a good way to melt that ice in there. Got a uh, propane bottle and uh, rosebud on here. That does a pretty good job. Sorry about that. Get that ice out there underneath that a little bit of plate. about over for today. It's supposed to stop at 10. So that's an hour and a half from now. And it's not doing much now. I don't think it's going to get much more snow. So this will be, this will be in uh, in pretty good shape. And I've got uh, this switch. Plus two more up here. And uh, one down, two down below it again. Sometimes uh, some railroads have heaters, propane heaters, into these switches so that uh, they can turn them on and they're on all the time or whatever they need them. Well, we don't have that luxury. A lot of transit systems too. Nope, they'll, uh, they have that. Especially, you know, places up like Chicago gets a lot of snow and stuff. That uh, keeps those uh, switches thawed out. A little bit of leaves there. Ha! <laughs> Okay, very good. We're doing good here. I gotta move my bottle. Get up up there, so I can't uh, I can't move my, my propane bottle and uh, hold this phone at the same time. So I'll get that here. When I'm done with this. Very good. way down here at the end of our runaround track that I don't need to get. They're only used when we run the second train, so uh, they are not going to be running the second train. And uh, here the first part of the week, it's going to start getting warmed up, so I'm not worried about those switches. If they were running the second train, then it would be constant to... Uh, Keep everything, keep those switches thawed out also. All right, very good. I'll go up here and I'll get the frog and uh, be right back. I'll tell you about that here in a minute. Okay, we got some frozen coal in here. It's thawing it out though. I'm gonna have to get a uh, or something to uh, shove this out of here too. Uh, get this out. As soon as I 
get off of here off this uh, phone let it thaw out a little bit more had the regulator come out through here this morning already so uh Yeah, I'll have to get a get a bar and clean this out a little bit better here as soon as I get off of this. But that's no big deal. And I can't do that hold this phone either. Here's another problem. Uh, these crossings get frozen. And like I said, the regulator came out of here already this morning. So this one's no big deal. But uh, if they were going to put cars in a shop or something, you can see this is a mess. We'd have to get this all cleaned up. And uh, the main line over there train keeps running so it's it's in fine shape but uh, these crossings will freeze over and we've actually uh, on this second track you can even see the second track right there because actually uh, many years ago it all froze over and the guys didn't realize it and they tried to run a locomotive over it and derailed the locomotive that ice jacked it right off the rail so we learned way back then if you're going to run the cars, especially lightweight cars, lightweight cars will come right off. So, uh, what uh, if uh, we were going to switch cars around today or anything or run a locomotive on these other tracks, then <laughs> I try, try what I cook with the uh, propane and I've also used a fire snake. Put the, put the fire snake along here. I've had fire snake on this one before in the past too. Uh, I derailed that tamper up there at the <coughs> loadout. Uh, sorry about that. Sorry about that. I hit the wrong thing. I derailed that tamper, the front part of the tamper, up at the loadout one time. It, uh, it had ice on there. It's trying to get out of the way of the train and uh, derailed it. <sighs> the ice jacked it right off. Anyway. We got it back on pretty fairly easy that day. Okay, so this is cold weather railroading, and uh, you got to do what you got to do. Keep these cars on track. All right, uh, be right back. All right, I got this uh, all taken care of, and uh, we got a heat wave going on here. It's up to 16 degrees. How about that? This is important. And, uh, you know, if, if it's get a lot of snow, um, you know, if it's snowing all day, you got a lot of snow, then you're going to, you, you end up, you clean one switch and you go around and you clean all the other switches. And if they were, like I said, if they was running two trains, then I'd be running to the mine and cleaning those switches and coming back in here and uh, cleaning these switches again. That's just uh, what you got to do. And that's, that's the all day project if we got a lot of snow. But like I said, our snow's about ready to stop. So we ought to be in good shape here. And I've got the frog cleaned out up there. I uh, use this bar here. It's a nice bar. It's aluminum. And uh, got the frog all nice and cleaned out. So uh, i got to clean this frog right here and the mainline frog yet. So i got a lot to do here. All right. Um, <laughs> 16 degrees, yeah. I'm dressed pretty warm, but my hands are getting cold. So I'm going to go in the truck here for get something to eat and uh, drink a little bit of coffee, get warm back up, and go get the rest of those switches. All right. <laughs> this is what it's like. We're going to railroad in cold weather. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I'm so very, very thankful. So very, very thankful that I could be out here doing this. All right. Wonderful. I'll show you my... Uh, Okay, I got my uh, I got all three of these switches up here cleaned out and uh, that wind's kicking <laughs> uh, Yeah, okay <laughs> Everything looks good. I got the two frogs here or three frogs cleaned out too. So uh, we're in good shape up here I'm gonna head down Get a little warmed up 
yeah i gotta head down and get those two switches down there train just left the uh prep plant so he's on his way and uh yeah we gotta so uh i'll get that uh the one switch i gotta get before the train gets back here so that's no big deal and the other switch i can do while he's dumping and we're gonna be stay down here and make sure he dumps off okay so with that uh that wind blowing out there like that 16 degrees and uh, the wind chill factor of the train coming back at 25 mile an hour even though they sprayed down here and they sprayed up there uh i'm gonna stick around here and uh, make sure he dumps off he's able to dump off all right so okay i want to uh thank you thank you thank you very much for uh, uh i'm still cold <laughs> take a little bit get warmed up i just got back in the truck and uh anyway thank you thank you thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed today's show. All right. Have a really good day. And happy rails to you, my friend, until we meet again. I love this job. <laughs> I love this job. Couldn't wait to come to work this morning. 14 degrees. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs>